Hi, this is Brandon Splay from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the Pit Shark Single Leg RDL. This is a very challenging unilateral glute hamstring hinge exercise using the Pit Shark. So if you've got a belt squat machine, you can certainly try this. It probably will work just fine. Uh, this just works really well on the Pit Shark, and it's a nice unilateral change of pace. Now, I will say that you probably want to have a certain degree of strength to be able to perform this exercise uh, because the loading dock, I guess, if that's what you want to call it, uh, weighs about 45, 50 pounds just by itself. So there is some general strength that's required. You definitely do not want to put a newbie on this and make sure they can just do regular single leg hinging things before they come here. If they can do that, it's pretty simple. The one thing you're going to need, you will need the like chain from the belt that comes with the normal pit shark or whatever your belt squat machine has and then you need to put a D handle uh, on the other end so we've got the hook here that's going to go in one of our holes and then we've got the handle here that's what we're gonna actually hold on to um, the nice thing about the pit shark is that as you unrack it here it automatically swings away super convenient not to push or pull anything um, and if really if you want to you don't have to re-rack this every time either since we're not going to get stapled in the bottom uh, with our squat. So uh, I do choose to usually re-rack it, but again, just know you don't have to, especially if you're working with multiple people um, and you really just want to grab and go kind of thing. It's totally fine. So I like to hook this in the back one. You can certainly use it in other ones, but really there's probably no other reason to be in those. Um, this one works perfectly fine. And since this is the center, I really like the line part of my big toe, so like the big knuckle of my big toe, right in the middle here. This is going to be my start position. My hand basically is pointed down, and my other leg is kind of kickstand back a little bit because I'm just going to unrack it. Then I'm going to perform my single leg RDL with this position and then be done. So here I'm going to unrack it, just shrug up and let it go. Once we're in position, then we're going to make sure we get some good footing, take my other foot away. I'm now in good position to be able to hinge on my left leg. I'm going to take my right leg, shove it back, keep my chest tall, make sure everything moves the unit, should be feeling a good quality glute and hamstring stretch in the bottom, and then use this musculature to come back to the top. And then just wrap. We're good to go. So, that is the Pit Shark Single Leg RDL. When it comes to programming, I really like to play about 8 to 12 reps per side, switching sides. The nice thing is, you can just leave that hooked, come to the other side, and go again. Uh, and it's, there's enough space on here that really you should have no problem with trying to fit your feet on here um, or anything like that. I do know there's some exercises that I do wish this platform was bigger, but this is not one of them. And again, this is an awesome way to just mix up your single leg work. If you happen to be training with people, um, you know, grabbing up over a bunch of dumbbells and things like that can be a pain in the butt. This, you just slap the weight on and you're pretty much good to go. So if you got any questions about the Pit Shark single leg RDL, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.